This tutorial will show you how to quickly set up an AI-powered sentiment analysis using Python and Scikit-Alama. Start by going to the Alama website, alama.com, to download and install Alama on your computer. Follow the instructions, and this will install the Alama command line tool. You can then open your terminal or command prompt and type in Alama run Llama 3. This code will install Meta's Llama 3 model directly onto your computer, which will allow you to directly connect with the Llama 3 model through your Python environment. You can alternatively install other top performing open source models such as Google's Gemma 2 by running in the command prompt Alama run Gemma 2. Okay, so let's now move to the code editor and begin by importing relevant libraries. We start by importing pandas for data handling, finviz finance to easily fetch stock news headlines, scikit Alama for the zero shot and few shot classifiers. If you don't have these in your Python environment, you can install them all using pip install. We can now initialize a finviz finance object with a stock ticker symbol and then use the ticker news function to output a data frame that includes the latest news articles, with columns including the publication date, the link, and the title of each article. We'll next do some light pre-processing of the data prior to analysis. Here I've reordered the columns for clarity, and then used a regular expression pattern to only keep headlines that directly include a reference to the stock I've chosen or its ticker symbol. With our new data frame, filtered news DF now ready, we initialize a zero-shot classifier using the zero-shot Alama classifier function with the model argument set to Llama 3. Zero-shot means we don't need any training data. Here, our categories are positive, negative, and neutral. We next fit the classifier model using the fit function, and then generate predictions using the predict function with the main argument set to the news headline title column in our data frame. This can take several moments to run based on your computer specs. But once completed, we can print out our data frame and see that the new zero-shot sentiment scores have been added. Let's now shift over to few-shot classification, which allows us to train the model on a few labeled examples to improve accuracy. We'll start by randomly selecting a few news headlines to label manually. I chose seven here with the hope that we can get at least one to two examples of each positive, negative, and neutral class. I'll go through each of these news headlines and manually decide how to classify them and I'll save these classifications as lists called user labels, which I'll then save into the few shot training data frame as a column called user sentiment. With this training data prepared, I'll initialize the few shot Alama classifier, and then use the fit function with the first argument being the headline title from our few shot training data frame, and the second argument being the user sentiment label that we previously classified. This will train the few shot model. And after the model is trained, we will run the predict function on our full filtered news DF data frame and save the prediction as a column called sentiment few. We can now validate the accuracy of the few shot classifier through manual review of a random subset of headlines. By comparing these few shot predictions to our own human assigned labels, we can check if the model accurately captures the nuances of the sentiment data. If you found this video helpful, give us a like and subscribe to the Deep Charts channel for more tutorials on the latest AI and machine learning tools.